Optimus Prime. You destroyed your hope. Do you seek redemption? This is Trinidad, your island man, coming to you live once again from beautiful Hawaii here on the island of Oahu, bringing you the best movie reviews on the entire island of Oahu. Yes, Trinidad, the island man, your island man, and let me just say, I just saw and came out of the theater for the uh, morning showing of Transformers The Last Night. Uh, it is uh, Wednesday. I saw the 11.30 showing, which was the first over at the Windward Mall. Uh, now this movie came out actually uh, Tuesday evening. Um, you know, it started early in the week, I suppose. Uh, I, I'm not exactly sure why. And uh, there was a review embargo for it until late Tuesday afternoon. Uh, so it came out Tuesday evening. No reviewers could talk about it until uh, late Tuesday afternoon. And uh, there is a particular reason why they did this, uh, why Paramount did this. And uh, well, let's just get to it. Uh, remember our rating scale, Shaka thumbs up. It's good to see, I recommend it. Uh, Shaka thumbs down, it's bad to see, it's junk, I don't recommend it. And Transformers, The Last Night, Transformers 5 by Michael Bay is Shaka thumbs down all the way. It is junk. Do not see this movie. Um, I, I have not been a fan of these Transformer movies by Michael Bay. Um, I did enjoy the, uh, the animated cartoon in the 80s. Uh, I had a couple of the toys, none of the big famous ones. I think the biggest one I had was uh, Shockwave. And then finally, I did have Scorpionox, if anybody remembers that. But I never had Optimus Prime, I never had Megatron, all the ones that are worth big bucks nowadays. Not that I have any of my other ones left. Uh, but yes, uh, to this date, uh, I still feel that the animated series was a great show. And the best Transformers movie is still the uh, 1980s animated classic Transformers the movie. That is the supreme number one movie, even though for some stupid reason it won a Golden Turkey Award. It was a great movie, and uh, you should definitely go ahead and, and check that out. Uh, I now own the Blu-ray of that movie. And it is far superior to any of these other uh, Michael Bay Transformer movies. Um, I hear this is his last one, and thank God for that. This movie, again, shock a thumbs down all the way. I would not see movie. Don't see this movie if you can avoid it. Just 
if you're semi-interested, check it out on Netflix. Uh, this movie is a mess. It's all over the place. Not even Mark Wahlberg can save this movie. At least uh, Transformers 4 had an interesting kind of idea. Megatron was taking this cybernetic uh, Cybertron metal and going to transform the Earth into a new Cybertron. Um, I, I have to go into some spoilers, uh, but pretty much you've seen the scenes. Uh, the previews, they all talk about how the Transformers, the Autobots, had been around since uh, the time of King Arthur, and uh, that's how they do it. Uh, they just do it. They, they had shown up uh, and gotten into Camelot, uh, forged allegiances with King Arthur uh, to defend the planet. Uh, and throughout history, all the conflicts, World War II especially, um, that's where they had been helping out humanity. Um, but nobody knew about it because it was kept super secret. Um, it does nothing for this plot to have it meshed into a historic aspect of you know, of human history to have the Transformers. It could have just kept them, hey, they showed up in the first movie with uh, Shia LaBeouf, and then just, hey, there's this threat coming to Earth uh, that the Transformers have to deal with. And then, as you saw in the scenes, or in the previews, uh, that one of the threats is actually Optimus Prime. He is taken over uh, by, you know, evil forces and used as a tool of evil. Uh, but in this movie, it doesn't last long. So yes, again, this is spoilers. Um, what is coming to Earth, everyone suspected was Unicrom to destroy the Earth. It turns out that is actually Cybertron, and it is um, controlled by one of what would supposedly be one of the Quintessons, one of the creators of of the Autobots and Decepticons. However, that is still pretty muddled in this movie. Um, and it is only one Quintesson. We're not even sure it is truly a Quintesson, just her name is Quintessa. So, you know, which again, you didn't even need to give this character a name because she, she's nothing more than just something to drive the plot. Um, Optimus Prime evil tearing up his friend Bumblebee, uh, going against humanity only happens and lasts for uh, 20 minutes. The film, uh, this hour, this movie is two hours 30 minutes, and you don't get to see Optimus Prime coming to Earth and and taking on his evil plans until you know an hour and a half later so for the last hour of the film and then for 20 minutes he's like kind of evil and then he's turned good again once bumblebee rescues his mind um which okay was a fine touch since they're friends and he could reach him but it still just felt very very flat uh so the quintessa is coming to earth to drain the Earth, which happens to be the Earth is actually now Unicron. Um, incredible. Uh, how they could just bastardize the entire Transformers, the movie, animated movie, this bad and just destroy it and rip it apart into this movie is a travesty. Uh, please do not see this movie. To be Knights of the Round Table, connected to Camelot, human history, doesn't matter, shouldn't have been in the movie, could have sleeked it down, could have saved you an hour of this movie and it would have been better. And again, it makes the fundamental fatal flaw of all the Transformers movies by again emphasizing the human characters. It's terrible. Um, this is supposed to be Michael Bay's last movie. Please let it be his last movie. Uh, because this kills the Transformers franchise. Uh, there is a new director uh, coming to make a standalone Bumblebee movie, which I hope to God will work. But as far as setting this up, and it is set up for another six movie, don't do it. It's, it's over. This is done. This is done. Um, you know, maybe the Bumblebee standalone movie will work. I hope it does, but if it has any 
any feel, tentacles of Michael Bay on it, it's, it's over. Um, again, this is Trinidad, your island man, terribly disappointed with Transformers the last night. Don't go see this movie. Shock a thumbs down all the way. Save your money. All right. Thank you so much. And aloha.